and welcome to the first episode of Top 7 Cutest Animals. animals. Over the course of 10 episodes, we will choose our favorite animal, compete in the 11th and final round. What are we waiting for? Let's get to it. First up, the blue tit. This adorable little fellow is counted as a European bird, but lives in areas stretching from Northern Africa to Turkey. Turkey? Turkey? Who names the country Turkey? I don't know. Hey, this is my bit. Any wuzzles, they are 12 centimeters in length, have a 20 centimeter wingspan, and weigh 11 grams. That's the same as a triple A battery. They live in flocks of 20 or so birds and lay about 7 to 13 eggs in a clutch or brood. The reason we chose them was because of their adorable puffy face and awesome sense of fashion. Let's move on to the next bundle of joy. Next up is the Dumbo Octopus. Say what? That can't be real. It is! Didn't you see the picture? Huh? It's real! And cute! Anyway, the average Dumbo Octopus is about 20 to 30 centimeters long, but the biggest one ever recorded was 1.8 meter and weighed a whopping 5.9 kilograms. Whoa, that's one big blob of jello. I would have known all this stuff too if somebody told me they existed. From the front they look just like our good old friend Dumbo. Did you know that the little pink octopus in Finding Nemo was a Dumbo octopus? Aww. By the way, did you know that most octopi have three hearts and nine brains? Wow, that's weird. But did you know that the next animal should be coming up right now? Introducing... The Asholotl. Axolotl? Axolotl? Axolotai? Who the wadi wadi? I'll just call him Ax. So Ax can regrow limbs, but also parts of his brain and organs. Apart from that, he's super cute and has a cheerful grin on his face at all times. You can keep these as pets, and they are very popular in Japan. Do not give these to a Mexican. It is considered a delicacy in their culture. That's just harsh. Who would eat this little thing? I mean, you saw the picture, right? It's a cold, cruel world out there. Now for a cute and fluffy showstopper from South America, give it up everyone for the chinchilla! We chose this animal because his adorable ears and fluffy tail make him look like a pocket-sized kangaroo. And while humans have one hair follicle per square centimeter, chinchillas have 50 making them super duper fluffy. Their hair is so thick that if you were to throw water on them, it wouldn't even reach their skin. We're fortunate enough to own two of these cute guys. Meet Jelly and Chillax. Since their fur will be a mess if it gets wet, chinchillas bathe in dust to keep clean. I wish I could do that, then bathing will actually be fun. Yeah, can you imagine how cool that must be, rolling around in the dirt? I can think of something way cooler, like a box fish. These tiny critters look like they just emerged from a game of Petrus, and their small googly eyes almost blend in with the dots on their body. Look at his little face. I think it must be the cutest fish in the ocean. You're right. Let's give him a badge. Hold on. There's one more thing. What's, What's that? that? They have poisonous skin. <laughs> Sorry about that whole boxfish trauma. Yeah, he's cute, but we can't give a poisonous fish the award. Oh, well. The next contestant dances way deep into your heart. It is the one, the only, peacock spider! This little spider is covered in vibrant colors, 
And the way he waves his arms around are just too cute for words. He comes from Australia and... Why is it that everything cool comes from Australia and South America? I mean, come on, sharing is caring, people. They even have koalas. Koalas! Yeah, I know. But getting back to the peacock spider, they're as big as a grain of rice. Think of a live M&M. &M. Yeah, but have you ever seen a spider that tastes good? <laughs> Didn't think so. Okay, moving on. Our final competitor is a creature that comes all the way from Australia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. It's the amazing sugar glider. Aww! Look at those enormous eyes! I know, right? It's related to a flying squirrel and it can glide up to 45 meters from tree to tree. And they live in colonies of 20 to 40 that have two alpha males. Just think about being surrounded by 40 of these things. They especially like anything sweet, which is where they get the name. Young gliders. Oh, please stop babbling and just look at the pictures. Okay, but shouldn't we tell them what makes them cute or why we... Are you nuts? People have eyes, you know. Okay. We're good. Now it's time to decide who the winner of the episode is. Will it be the puffy blue tit? The big ear dumba octopus or the dancing peacock spider? Maybe the smiling asholot or the playful chinchilla? It could even be the Tetris boxfish or the wide-eyed sugar glider. The votes are in and... Don't turn us into one of those talent shows. Fine. Anyway, it has been decided. The cutest animal of today's episode is... The Sugar Glider! We all thought his enormous eyes and gliding skills were just irresistible. And for the fact that it loves sweet stuff. I mean, come on, who doesn't? But remember, this doesn't mean that it's the most adorable creature ever. It doesn't? Nope, he's still got some tough competition lying ahead of him. Join us next time in round two.